Good morning. Welcome to Camelot Hills. We are coming out today to show you how to make a hay feeder out of a simple piece of fencing. This is a two by four welded wire, uh, cut just a little leftover piece that we had laying around. Uh, I've made a few of these before. I'm going to make another one today just to show you how to do it so you can use it in your farm. As you can see, I've went ahead and cut out a, this small piece so we can start getting it into the shape that we want. So I've already cut it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to find the top part and we're going to bend over a portion of it that we're going to use to hang over the fence. Doesn't really matter if, uh, if it's a little long right here, that's okay because we can come back and we can cut a little bit off here, here if we need to. Um, now once we do that, then we're going to basically bend it over to about the size of a flake, like so. I'm going to set these pliers down right here. We don't need them right now. Then you're not going to do the middle part right here. You're just going to attach this side and take that wire and just bend it around on the corners only. Now as you can see, I've got other pieces that are still left over. I left a little extra space so we had something to, to tie up with. So just bend all of those around. I'm going to bend the bottom a little bit. I'm going to bend the sides to touch each other. We're going to do the same over here. Then we're going to take these extra pieces that I left a little long from the piece of fence. Bend them around. Love the sounds of the farm going on in the background. Roosters crowing. There's a couple little fellas right here next to me. You can hear them talking to each other. So now that you've got it bent like so, you can kind of pull it apart, open it up a little bit. You got to play with it a little. Then you take your pliers, your uh, diagonal cutters, cut all the bits off that need to be cut off. You don't want any sharp points sticking out too far. You don't want your goats running into them. Yep, I missed one. While you're cutting these, be careful to make sure that you grab a hold of these little pieces right here. Because if you don't, with diagonal cutters and wire, they will go flying all over the place. The last thing you want are little pieces of metal like that laying around on your farm for another animal or a person to step on, stick in their foot, whatever. Uh, especially if you're going to do it in the area that your goats are living in. And we'll discard those later. You notice I didn't leave any extra over here because this was a scrap piece that we used. So we've got to attach it somehow so the hay don't fall out on the sides. These longer pieces that I did save, we're going to take those and we're going to use them if I can get it to stay where I want it to go. Well, it's not wanting to cooperate today.
Come on. Well, those pieces aren't long enough. When I run into this situation, this is where I have uh, I have some other wire. It's uh, just steel wire that we keep around the farm. I'm going to take a second and go grab that. Then we'll come back. Okay, so here we are with our little pieces of steel wire that you can buy in any hardware store. Or you can purchase it online at places like Amazon and have them send it to you. If you ever pay attention and watch me, we love Amazon. Um, we use it a lot because you can find just about anything that you want on it. So, back to the subject at hand. We're going to cut us a piece of wire. Make sure it's a little long enough. Make sure long enough that uh, it's it's manageable. And then if you just pay attention, I'm going to squeeze these two together. And then wrap it around it. And grab us another piece. Make this one a little bit longer because that one was a little bit difficult. If you notice... When I'm working on this, right here where the corners meet, if you can go around the corners, like so, and then back around these, this corner in a different direction, it helps keep it together, keeps the wire from riding up and down. So we're going to put one more piece on here. Put it up here around the top. Hear my girls in the background, they talking to us. It's almost dinner breakfast time for them. So uh, they're waiting on us to come out and give them breakfast. So we take a little welded, a little steel wire, not welded wire, and there you have it. Shape it up, open it up a little bit, make sure you got plenty right here to hang over the, hang over the fence or hook to a fence, however you want to do it. So there you have it, a very simple quickly made hay feeder that you can hang on any fence. You can hang it over the top of fence like this or you can even straighten it out and uh, hang it using some kind of clip. A lot of those little clips it has got the slide on it. We take those once we hang it on the fence and then we clip it somewhere about like where that would be hanging on the fence. That way the goats can't knock it off. Uh, sometimes we'll do two of them on the larger ones that we made. Uh, you can also make these just about any size that you want. This one here is designed to hold a single flake of hay. You can stuff it down in there real good and it stays pretty well. Now the goats do waste a little bit of hay using these because they're not as, uh, what's the word? They're, they've got a lot of ways, a lot of places for hay to come out. So uh, there is a bit of waste. However, these work in a pinch, especially if you can't purchase the big fancy ones at the store uh, that are designed to hold a little more so you don't use as much waste. Uh, also, if you put it inside your hay barn uh, where the goats eat, or excuse me, where the goats uh, sleep, 
uh, the what waste that hits the ground that could be used for bedding as well so you're at least getting two purposes out of it but uh, anyway this is it uh, that's all it is to it it's not a whole lot um, I hope you enjoyed it make sure you take time and go stop by camelothills.net and sign up for our bylaw and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see what else we got going on around the farm. Y'all have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon.